the logic of death drive and artistic sublimation is always part of the male chauvinist myth of creativity and woman as your inspiration. I think that we all know from Klaus Tevelite his version, which is of course I think the correct one, of myth of Orpheus and Eurydice, and that Orpheus turned back intentionally. No, Orpheus' choice was, my God, if she really comes with me, where is my poetry then? I mean, I will become a common, <laughs> common husband. So the idea is, let's turn back so that then I can elevate her. Now here we have death drive and sublimation, but I think when Wagner is speaking about feminine sacrifice, what he thinks, a Wagnerian reading of it, would be even more male chauvinist, would be that Eurydice, intentionally, by <coughs> coughing, etc., uh, provoked uh, Orpheus to turn around, Eurydice loved him so much that she preferred to go back to hell so that to set free his creativity. And it's clear if you read Wagner's letters that this was Wagner's own myth of Mathilde Wessendonck. She sacrificed herself so that I was able to write Tristan und Isolde, to put it this way. No, this is the fundamental, uh, this is the fundamental, uh, at this level, the fundamental uh, Wagnerian, uh, Wagnerian myth. Okay, maybe this is enough for today so that we leave five minutes for democracy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.